How's it going everybody, Estas here, and in this video we're going to be doing an overall market update, taking a look at the Dow Jones, the S&P 500, and the NASDAQ. We're also going to be doing a trading update, talking about what I personally did today in the markets, as well as some stocks and ETFs that I'm watching and looking to trade right now in the middle of December of 2019. And as you guys read in the title, we're also going to be breaking down UGAS, DGAS, and the Natural Gas Report, which came out today. And and it comes out every Thursday at 10.30 a.m. For those of you guys that don't know, Eastern Standard Time. And I also want to go over two stocks that are breaking out and that I am very interested in buying and one that I already did buy right now. So if you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like button, consider subscribing, join our Strive Smart Discord and our Facebook group. Those are linked down below. And if you want two free stocks from Webull valued up to $1,400 bucks for simply depositing $100 into the account. The link is down below. So S&P 500 here, guys, ended up closing up 26 points, $26.94 to be exact, up 0.86%. We hit another all-time high at 3176.28. And if we go to the five-day, five-minute, you can see the explosion that we saw today. And we kind of saw this coming. If you guys saw my video yesterday, Based on the technicals on the S&P, we saw how this thing closed very, very bullish, right? You can see we had that sell-off period a couple of days. We were downtrending, lower lows, lower highs, all that good stuff. Then yesterday, we gapped out of that. We broke the trend. We were consolidating a bit here, you know, at around 31.30. Then ultimately, we broke up towards the end of the trading session. And today, we started off pretty flat and then we got a catalyst of guess what? Mr. President Trump, the President of the United States, he tweeted this right here. Getting very close to a big deal with China, they want it, and so do we. And we all know, guys, the tweets, the tweets, they can help us and they can crush us. This is one time they helped us, right? Markets are going up, but we've seen tweets that come out that drop the markets just as quick. And to be honest, this is exactly what the stock market needed ahead of this December 15th deadline in my opinion because as you guys saw again going back to that sell off we were selling off because there was fear in the markets fear of what's going to happen with this uh, tariff deadline 160 billion dollars worth of tariffs now that we got obviously that good piece of optimism that tweet from President Trump and <laughs> nice timing there uh, President Trump five minutes into the market open right once we got that you know boom there go the markets up the 3176 that that move guys was 35 points and if we show or if I show you guys what that is that's a 1% move in the matter of what like 30 45 minutes to an hour then ultimately we sold off but that doesn't matter because we just closed 15 minutes ago on a very nice little upswing very bullish close so this is looking quite bullish in my personal opinion um, and again we hit an all-time high so I'm interested in seeing what happens here Tomorrow, Friday is going to be very interesting. The deadline is on Sunday, I believe, December 15th. So that's something that could impact the markets on Monday. So a lot of things are going on here in the next couple of days. Uh, yeah, so let's talk about the Dow Jones. Up 220 points at the close, up 0.79%. All-time high was hit, $28,224.95. And you guys can see once Trump tweeted, tweeted that, boom, there goes the Dow Jones from 27.8 all the way up to 28.200. That's a 1.2% move in the matter of 30 to 45 minutes, which again is absolutely crazy. And on the five day, five minute chart, you can see we were descending, pulling back yesterday. We broke the downtrend today. We completely broke the downtrend with, with this explosion. And um, yeah, we're looking really bullish now on a technical basis for for the Dow Jones. And pulling up the Nasdaq here guys, this one was up 60 points here up 
0.71% at the close. And you can see we also hit an all-time high at 8497 bucks today. And on the five-day, five-minute, you can see we were downtrending, but ultimately we broke out. And uh, yeah, the massive spike, you can see it there. I don't know what that notification is. Uh, but anyway, we can see the massive spike from there, 8390 up 100 points in the matter of 30, 45 minutes. That's pretty crazy, 1.2%. We sold off after that, but just like the S&P and the Dow, we ended up holding that uptrend, very bullish close here on the NASDAQ. So that's pretty much it. You know, the markets, again, they're dealing with a lot of uncertainty, but with that tweet, that's pushing a lot of optimism into the markets right now. And over these next couple of days, you know, a lot of things can happen. Like I've been mentioning and like I mentioned on my Instagram, which is linked down below, go follow me. You know, if these tariffs go into effect, which a lot of people don't think they will, right, I think these markets could potentially sell off. But with, uh, you know, Trump saying this in his tweet, that's kind of hinting towards a, a delay, in my opinion, in these tariffs, which could lead, like I've mentioned, to even higher prices here in the stock market because the trade war, you know, these, these tariffs, it's really a lever in the market where if it's positive, that's going to be pushing up these markets, right? If the lever is going negative, negotiations are poor, that's going to bring the market down. So at this point, that's what I'm waiting for. I'm still being a bit more cautious. I want to see officially what's going to happen here, December 15th, all of that good stuff. And I'd love to know what you guys have to think about that down below in those comments. So let's talk about natural gas, you gas, D gas, and what ended up happening today after that report. So if I pull up these natural gas futures contracts, you can see they're currently up nine cents here, guys, almost 10 cents up 4.28% which is a pretty crazy move considering how much natural gas has been getting crushed to the downside here over the past couple of weeks, right? And if we pull up this hourly chart, you can see ever since we gapped down and I called this out pretty much in Sunday's video, you know, extremely oversold, we gapped down, we've recovered from that level, right? 215, we've recovered back to that 180 SMA, which has proven to be a resistance here over these past couple of of weeks, right? So now we're at a point in natural gas where I'm not going short, but I'm not going long. I'm looking to see what we do at this point here before making my decision. So pretty much in tomorrow's session, you know, if we break out like this, right? You can see the arrows from last time I analyzed it a couple of days ago. We did not break out there. We got rejected. But if this time we break out, that's going to be a technical sign to go long. You guys, which goes up whenever natural gas is going up, right? And you guessed it, if we get rejected, like we did last time, that could be a, a sign to go long on D-Gas, ticker symbol D-G-A-Z. And if we take a look here at the natural gas report, guys, we can see we had a total withdrawal of 73 billion cubic feet. And for my personal research today and over the past couple of days, that's pretty much in line with what the analysts were expecting from for this particular report. So if we break it down here, you can see we had a 24 BCF withdrawal from the east, 27 BCF withdrawal from the Midwest, 7 BCF from the mountain Pacific. We had a 10 BCF withdrawal from the South Central. We had a 6 BCF withdrawal, salt 5 BCF withdrawal, and non-salt 11 BCF withdrawal. So pretty much all across the board, that is what happened through all of the major regions. And this represents, as you guys can see down here, a net decrease of 73 BCF, as we just talked about. Stocks were 593 BCF higher than the last year. Again, we have more production this year at this time, and 14 BCF below the five-year average of 3532 BCF. So compared to last year, a lot more production, but pretty much in line with what the five-year average is for natural gas in terms of the 
storage. So what does this mean for natural gas? Let's take a look at what ended up happening, and then we'll talk about why what ended up happening ended up happening. So natural gas, again, we had a ridiculous bullish move today. And if we break that down in terms of the action around the report, you guys can see we were pretty much consolidating all pre-market here today um, and into the market open. And right before the report or right after the report, we dumped pretty aggressively on the, you know, mildly bearish report that we ended up getting. And from there, what caused this massive spike, I believe, and what we talked about in yesterday's video are these upcoming weather models that are showing a bit more of a cold front. And right now, with a lot of hedge funds being short natural gas, believe it or not, I know a lot of you guys know that, but a lot of hedge funds are short. A lot of people in general are short because they are expecting a mild winter and they know production is high. Like we saw, it's a lot higher than it was last year. You know, they're rooting for that warm weather, but now we're getting this cold model that, you know, is shaking taking up the price here. It's pushing the price up. And obviously these hedge funds, these shorts, they obviously don't want to see warm weather because that is what's going to collapse their whole theory as being a short on natural gas. So let's talk about some of this weather right now from natgasweather.com. So for December 12th to the 18th, after a chilly start to the day with lows of negative 10s to 20s for strong demand, milder conditions will spread across the country the next few days with highs of upper 40s to 70s gaining in coverage warmest across Texas and the South for lighter national demand. Demand will increase though early next week as cooling returns across many regions of the U.S. like I just mentioned coldest across the Midwest and the Northeast as lows of zeros to 20s return along with areas of rain and snow. It's late next week where the GFS model shows cold lasting, but with the European model showing warming. Overall, strong demand today, moderate Friday to Sunday, and back to high early next week. So that's kind of some weather we're expecting. Again, a cold front is expected here over, over the next, I'd say, 5 to 10 days. And that's what's bringing up these prices at the end of the day, right? That's what's seeing this 4% move and you guys seeing a very big move of 11% up 89 cents on the day. And if we go to UGAS, we can see, or rather DGAS, we can see this thing was down about 11%, down about $18 on the day. So moving forward, guys, I'm taking this bullish move very seriously here that we saw today. And again, back to that level that we talked about on natural gas, let's say this catalyst of the cold front, you know, this cold weather kind of out of nowhere that we're experiencing here, let's say this 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 lasts and we get that technical break the first thing i'm looking to see is if we could fill the gap up to around two dollars and maybe 43 cents uh you know and from there maybe around two dollars and 49 to about two dollars and 50 cents so the breakout would be very bullish and from there we may fill the gap which you guys will see a rally that it's much needed um it's really needed it for a while at this point right and that would probably Probably get us above that 180 SMA, which overall would be a breakout here on you guys. So overall report kind of, you know, in line with analysts, a bit bearish, but this cold weather, this front, this cold front is what is pushing the prices up and uh, really getting this bullish spike that we are seeing in you gas and natural gas and of course dropping D gas. So let me know what you guys think about that down below. And now let's talk about what I did today in terms of my trading guys. Very, very simple. You know that I'm holding PayPal from yesterday, ticker symbol PY. IPL ended up buying in on this dip here about $104.30. So I'm holding that with plans on selling at around 108 bucks. And I entered Activision Blizzard today, which is going to lead us into the two breakout stocks that I'm watching. This one is one that I actually bought, guys. And I've been watching this for the past couple of months to see when it's going to break above 56, 57 ish, that area. And we finally got the bull bullish 
push today. And we can see a lot of buyers started to come in here, guys, because once we did start to break out of that level, take a look at this one day, one minute. We just got more and more bullish, more and more people pushing this price up, more and more volume. Um, you know, this is pretty impressive for Atv and really a determining factor as to why I ended up getting in being that volume and being that very strong close here in the market. And a lot of it's probably due to the overall market um, going up, which is why I only put in a little bit of money this morning at about 57.30, I believe. Right around here, we broke that we broke their resistance again that's a bullish signal that's what I wanted to see you to initiate a little position so right now I'm in at around that level again 5730 right around here and uh, I'm up about what like two 2.5 percent on my shares and I do plan on holding this uh, maybe for a couple of weeks here as a longer term swing and either way guys I'm really happy with it because I'm long at the um, in my super long term portfolio and again I bought this today in my swing portfolio and I'm interested in trading it up to about 62 bucks um, that would be the ideal sell right around here 62 bucks that is the major resistance that is coming up so those are kind of my plans with at V and what I did today in terms of my trading just holding at V holding PayPal and really just riding this nice stock market push and my whole entire portfolio all my longs other than my you know short-term trades here they did well today too so over Overall, fantastic day in the markets, and uh, let's talk about that second stock that I'm looking to buy that is looking, that really is already breaking out here. That is ticker symbol SBUX, also known as Starbucks, guys. And starting off here, let's just look at the three-year week chart. I know a lot of people don't really look at longer-term charts. Well, I'm sure a lot of you guys do, but it's not as popular as looking at, let's say, the 20-day, whatever, the 180, whatever that may be. But we can see see here we pulled down and we held that 50 SMA quite nicely at a higher low and we're actually breaking above the EMA now on this weekly chart. So from a long, long term perspective, that is good. Now if we break down the four hour chart, which is a six month look, we can see that we're actually also breaking above the 50 SMA. We already did. Seems like we found a bottom here with a doubled bottom at around 82 bucks and we also broke that 180 SMA and we're seeing that bullish cross being the 50 SMA crossing above that 180 SMA. So this is, you know, these are a bunch of signs and confirmations that we are breaking out here on Starbucks. So today pushed us to a level where it is a bit overbought, our size overbought. We were up 2% today. So I'd love to see a pull down, maybe a retest at 87 bucks on the EMA, maybe a retest all the way back down to 85, 86 to that 50 SMA, not too sure if we'll get that, uh, but that would be ideal for an entry here in my opinion. But either way, any pullback, I'm really heavily considering um, buying. And of course, I'll let you guys know in the group chat, the Discord chat, which is linked down below, and that's where I'm active. And we have over, I think, like 900 people in that chat at this point. So go join that. Again, that is linked down below. So a couple of other stocks that I'm watching here, Shopify is one of them, and this is doing um, a quite quite of an interesting uh, pattern right here. It's in an interesting spot and we can see based on my little arrow here and if we pull up that hourly chart you'll be able to see it. This is something that I was looking at earlier in the day. I was seeing some struggle here on Shopify holding 370 this morning. We obviously saw that big dump and I was seeing this and I'm like okay maybe we pull down a 350 maybe 355 hold that 180 SMA. That could be a potential dip where I would probably load the boat on Shopify being this very hot stock that it has been, right? But as we can see, that didn't happen. We ended up reversing quite nicely heading into the close and ended up closing above 370, which I mentioned this in the chat, we needed to close above this level for this to be, um, you know, to remain bullish, to be quite honest, right? And the fact that we did that and we zoom in a bit further, let's say, back to that 20-day chart, you can see the fact that we did that, we're trending above the EMA.
SMA and that 50 SMA. And now we can see if we hold this tomorrow, if we consolidate on top of this tomorrow, maybe we gap up, that could be a, a sign to go long again, in my opinion, especially if we break above 375 and ultimately the resistance from three days ago being 380 bucks. So my theory with Shopify is buy it. Don't buy it based on my opinion, but for me, what I'm telling myself is buy it anywhere above 375 and especially above 380. Sell or don't consider it until it finds support if it breaks below, I guess you can say 365 being a strong support that it held today and 360 bucks. So that's kind of what I'm thinking now on Shopify ticker symbol SHOP. Another stock I'm watching here is obviously PayPal, guys. I'm in this one, swinging it. Love the higher low hold on top of this 180 SMA, this breakout that we're seeing. This is a long that I'm looking to hold up to 108, and it does have a lot more potential to break out from there. Another one that's breaking out now is NVIDIA, guys. This one honestly could be in the same tier as ATV, right? Same pattern, kind of. We broke above our resistance, right? 220. Now we're looking to fill the gap up to the next resistance, which we can see is a pretty nice chunk away at about 240 bucks, which gives us swing traders out there, right? Um, a good chunk of profit to be made of around six to seven percent. So overall, guys, those are just a couple of stocks that I see a lot of potential in. Guys, these are like screaming opportunities, in my opinion, especially. At V and NVIDIA. Not saying to go buy them. Again, for me, they're screaming opportunities, but for you, you need to do your research. You need to understand what you're trading and make a decision for yourself. So overall, that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, feel free to go down below, hit that like button, consider subscribing if you want to see further content from me. And don't forget to join that Strive Smart Discord group chat and the Facebook group if you want to be further connected with our community. And two stocks down below, you can get for absolutely free on Webull by simply putting in 100 bucks, depositing that money in. You don't have to invest it, just deposit it in. You get two free stocks up to 1400 bucks. And yeah, that's free money. That's linked down below. I'll catch you all in the next video. Thanks again for watching. As always, peace out.